Good morning. Start of day three today. Oh my gosh. So we've got, I don't know, about 30 mile an hour winds. We're gonna finish this side of the waterfall today and then hopefully get over to the stream on the other side. <laughs> oh man, it'll be an interesting day. We're gonna get as far as we can. We got a little bit of a squall out here in the middle of Illinois. <laughs> what the heck? You can do spillways up here, you can do a biofalls, whatever you want to start off the waterfall, but this is how we're gonna do it today. Woody, what was our goal today? Do you think we did it? Yeah. Are we ready to plug it in? Yeah, right here. Good morning. Start of day three today. This is where we left off at this side. That was the last rock right there, I believe, that we set. We just have to adjust it. Looks like it settled back a little bit. We gotta adjust that, but we're gonna focus on this entire side this morning to try and get this thing banged out. And then we'll start working on working our way that way. Another beautiful day out here. We might catch a little rain tonight. So we're gonna work as late as we can, get as much of this stuff done as humanly possible, or maybe subhumanly possible. It's a good thing I brought my sunglasses today because I got two ways to cover up my tears right now. So, mirror! Well, guys, this is where we ended up today. We got the waterfall 90% done. We covered up as much as we could with tarps. We're going to pray for the best, man. Maybe we'll be out here tomorrow, maybe not. Insert sad, sad music. Pardon my French, but this blows. Freaking hailing, literally 30 seconds, and that rain came down and it's still coming. Yep, fortunately we got all the tarps up. Kind of see our job site right now. What the hell are you gonna do, you know? We were trying to hustle, trying to beat, beat the rain, but it didn't happen, she beat us. Better luck tomorrow. <laughs> we're back! Oh my gosh. So we've got, I don't know, about 30 mile an hour winds today. We're gonna see if Udi can fly by using this tarp. We'll see how far it takes him. Where we left off was it rained on us a lot. So we had to take yesterday off from the job. We got a lot of it covered up, but it's still pretty saturated down here. So gosh, there's a lot of water. You can see the reservoir. See the reservoir is full, which is good. It holds water. We're gonna finish this side of the waterfall today and then hopefully get over to the stream on the other side. So that's kind of where we're at. How are you guys feeling today? Full. That's baloney. It's cold today. Udi, what do you think? <laughs> it's freaking wet out. What do we mean it's nice? It's cold. A lot of wind. We got about 30 mile an hour gusts, but we're back. Manuel's back there somewhere. There he is. <laughs> oh man, it'll be an interesting day. We're going to get as far as we can today. standing in our upper pool area, standing on top of a series of aqua blocks in here. First, let me say this is not a bog filter, not an upflow or a constructed wetland, even though I am standing on top of aqua blocks. This is a collection area for the water to be dumped into that's coming from our two pumps fueling this waterfall. We're gonna take our two three inch pipes and elbow over the liner behind a rock and dump them into these aqua blocks down here. The pipes, as you can see, running behind me right here, are gonna come in somewhere behind a rock up over the liner and dump down into these aqua blocks. Basically we just want an area for when we're pushing this massive amount of water up here for it to shoot down to the bottom, fill up this aqua block area, and then upflow through it. So this is what's going to start our waterfall. You can do spillways up here, you can do a biofalls, whatever you want to start off the waterfall, but this is how we're gonna do it today. Just because we have multiple pumps with a six foot wide waterfall to start this thing. Woody and I are here at 
It's a little after five o'clock on Friday. Udi, what was our goal today? Fitness and waterfall. And get it running, right? Yeah. By the end of the day? Yeah. Do you think we did it? Yeah. Are we ready to plug it in? Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, right here. Oh, I hear it. I hear it. Oh, look at that. Filling. Wow. <laughs> we got water. I absolutely love, 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 love turning on the waterfalls for the first time. Just to see that rushing, running water just really gets my juices going. And it's been kind of a long week, so this was definitely pick me up we needed here at the end of the day to go into the weekend before we come back Monday and start on the other side. We still have some tweaking left to do to get the water moving exactly the way we wanted over the rocks. But I couldn't be more happy with kicking the pumps on. That's what it looks like. Looks kick ass. So here's where we're at folks. We are at the upper pool. So we're gonna have to work our way out from this side of the waterfall because of the logistics with the size of the machine. We're gonna try and bang out as much as we can today, but we should get a lion's share of this waterfall done. Giving you a little update here. We've got the main waterfall that's coming into this stream starting right there. It's gonna drop down into here, go around this rock. What we did is we got a big overlap in here. So we're gonna have a nice, big, tall falls. That's kind of where we're at. We've got our second piece of liner in, working our way down from the top. We're in good shape. We're only a couple hours into the day, so we're rocking and rolling at this point. Well folks, that's where we ended up today. We've got a majority of this stream rocked in behind me, the one that's gonna dump into that pooling area right in front of the doors where they have a stepper walkway. So we're actually gonna incorporate some of those steppers into that pooling area. One more day guys, one more day. We did about 15 tons of rock today. 10 to 12 is usually a good day for us. So we really crushed it today with only three and a half guys and uh, for being a Monday as well. That's where we ended up today. Best of luck tomorrow. We're gonna wrap this sucker up. So Ed, we've gotta do a, we've gotta do a, a seam on the liner, right? Because our elevation yeah. just didn't quite work out. So we have the overlap behind us. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna seam onto this lower section. We're gonna have that flap going down over it. So all we need is about six to eight inches, which is exactly what we have to make sure that water kind of circulates through this. It's gonna give the appearance of this big giant pooling area, shallow over here where the stepping stones are gonna be. And it's gonna progressively get deeper as it goes towards the pumps. Finishing touches on the stream. This whole back section over here has been done, working our way down. What do you got over here, Chris? We got our geotextile. You can see it's basically like a mesh, right? A permeable mesh. Uh, we're putting it over the top of the aqua blocks to prevent all that small gravel, um, a lot of that larger wind blown debris from getting down into the reservoir and potentially clogging a pump. It's just a good barrier to have to help with maintenance and that kind of stuff. So you're cutting it basically around our vaults. Yep. Um, that's going to be in a big section going all, all the way around and that's for the infiltration. We've got some of our skimmer lids that we're going to use to actually go over the top of these to disguise them a little bit more. But gravel is going to be all on the bottom of here. That big gravel, one to three inch gravel. We've got three three inch lines. We're going to elbow up high over the liner elbow down and then elbow across the floor just to keep it nice and tight, low profile. The reason we're gonna bring those pipes in up high is because we do plan on having standing water in here. So we don't wanna create a low edge. I just like the peace of mind of not doing three different penetrations in the liner and just coming up high over the liner instead of some bulkheads. So 
just my preference. All right, Chris is doing the finishing touches. He is washing everything off over there. Make sure everything is cleaner than we arrived. Stepping stones are in. Waterfall, it's awesome. A lot of action in there, especially for granite boulders, which you definitely have to uh, design and build a little differently, and that's because of the rounded nature of the rock. It makes the water come off of it differently. So you actually need a thicker amount of water coming over that stone to create that white water effect versus a very flat rock. We got this neat little pooling area over here, access from the terrace over on that side. People can come up, walk up by, next to the edge. You can hear all the traffic in the background, but this is designed to drown out traffic. Got really cool visibility all the way around, other little waterfalls. See the reflection of the waterfall over here in the glass. That's the owner's office. Great little spot, high visibility. The outdoor terrace area, this goes into the lunchroom. Again, great little spot for all the employees. We are back at New Haven Display. We finished up late last night. I gotta tell you, this project turned out pretty stinking amazing. We had some challenges, whether being down a couple guys on our crew. Logistics were a little bit of an issue. You know, one way in, one way out with a lot of the rocks. All in all, I could not be more happy with how it turned out. that we were able to transform the original waterfalls into what you see we created now. If you like what you see, don't forget to comment, like, share, but most importantly, subscribe to the Team Aquascape as well as the Greg Whitstock the Pond Guy channel. Until next time, we're signing out. So right now, we got a little bit of a squall out here in the middle of Illinois. <laughs> what the heck? Mother Nature, you pain in the insert bleep there. <laughs>